Hello, I'm George Lance. I'm the mayor of Greenwood Village, and it's a real honor for me to be here with a new council member, Paul Wiesner. Paul is our new council member from District 1, and so I am very anxious to introduce him to you and get a little bit of his background. Paul, how long have you lived in Greenwood Village? Uh, certainly. First of all, thank you for having me, and it's a real honor to be here in Greenwood Village. And I'm probably one of the few residents that can say I'm a native of Greenwood Village. So I was born in District 1, uh, spent most of my life there, except for you know, college years and a, and a little time actually, I think, in District 2. And uh, so, yes, it's great to be here and serve in the city. That's wonderful. We're really happy to have you on, mm -hmm. on the council. Tell us a little bit about your personal background, if you would, please. Sure. So uh, most of my pro professional career has been in the oil and gas business. I'm a finance guy, so don't know anything about reserves and drilling, but uh, I've been doing that most of my life. And then right now I have a small tech company that helps managing brokers of real estate companies recruit agents. So that's a professional side. Well, that's, that's wonderful. Um, your family's obviously here. Tell us a little bit about your family, if you would, please. Sure. So uh, I'm married to a wonderful lady, Heidi. She also is from Colorado, not District 1. Uh, and then I have three boys. Uh, two are in college, and I have one in uh, middle school. And um, they're just a joy to have. Well, I'm fortunate enough to have met your family, and they are. They're really wonderful people, and that's a tribute to you and Heidi. The boys are just absolutely outstanding. Well, thank you very much. As I know, and, and if you'd share with people, you've served not only on the HOA board, but also helped out the city prior to joining the city council. Could you fill us in a little bit on that background? Certainly. So. Um, you know, prior to me becoming a city council member, we had two great representatives, uh, Dave Bullock, who was reelected, and then Jerry Presley. And the two of them have approached me. I've known Dave from, from past experiences, and they put me on the planning and zoning committee for the city, and then I also did some uh, time on the Board of Adjustments and Appeals. And as you know, Jerry decided to retire from the city, take a break, and the two of them approached me and asked me if I'd have an interest in serving on city council. And uh, you know, with my conversations with them and former mayor Nancy Sharp, who lives in our neighborhood, uh, they encouraged me to step up to the plate and serve the community. So, well, that that's wonderful, and we're we are all myself and the rest of council are are excited to have you on board with your background experience and obviously lifelong knowledge of Greenwood <laughs> yes. Village, which. Uh, you know, I've, I've been here 30 plus years, but you, you've got a couple more summers on me. Yeah, it's, uh, like I said, it's kind of a unique, unique setup. And uh, it's, it is, it's just an honor to be serving in a city that you have grown up in and obviously know a lot of people, so. Well, tell us a little bit about what you'd like to accomplish while you're on city council. Uh, certainly, so, um, you know, the, the city council has a comprehensive plan that has been put together, uh, as you would know, over years of city council members. And, you know, having a, having a vision to, to follow, uh, I think, is critical. Otherwise, you, you know, if the old saying goes, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And it's nice to know that the city has thought out a thorough plan for, for development and for the parks and trails and for what we want the city to look like. And so I plan on sticking to that plan, of course, and then, of course, updating it for, for modern day changes. Uh, but I'm not about radical change by any means, so. Well, that's good. I, I, I like you, believe the city is in a good place and we're moving forward. Mm -hmm. How do you plan to interact with the members of your district, the citizens, and, and how will you interact with, with those people? Sure. So, uh, you know, prior to becoming involved with the city, I was uh, president of the Green Oaks Homeowners Association. Uh, so I've gotten to know a lot of people, obviously, through that. And then just the fact that, you know, being a resident here for such a long time, I, I know a lot of people. So, I, you know, I, I'm approachable. Uh, we all have our city 
emails. Uh, I'm quick to re respond. I let everyone know that I'm you know, readily available uh, and, and I'm all ears. Because I, I think it's important that everyone uh, has a voice and an opinion. Not to say that we're going to do everything that somebody wants, but it's nice to know that the, the people that I represent know they can come to me and their voices will, will be heard. So. Well, I know they'll all appreciate that and, and working together with, with you and the rest of council is going to be always a lot of challenges, but a mm -hmm. lot of opportunity for us as we move forward. Yeah. I mean, even getting to know the, the city council members here recently, because we have had our two meetings already, uh, it's, it's an exciting group. I think we're going to gel together. I have worked with the staff, obviously, being on the Board of Adjustments and on the Planning and Zoning Commission. And, you know, um, to your credit, you have put together a solid group of people that uh, know how to work together and move a city forward. So I'm looking forward to being part of the team. Well, we're, we're anxious to have you on the team, and we're really excited. And we appreciate you taking the time to come in and visit with us today. And we'll be spending a lot of time together, and, and that's <laughs> going to be great. Thank you very much, and thanks for coming in, Paul. I certainly appreciate it, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. As you can see, we've got a wonderful individual serving on our council, and it's going to be an outstanding two years and more years beyond that. Thank you very much.